Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Giamatar Sikharin, or you can also call me the Mirror of the True. I call myself a philosopher, and I have a lot of knowledge about different topics. Today, and let me start. Well, well, you're a you're a nasty meat eater, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yes. Why don't you go vegan? Because I don't want to. Oh, we're so horrible. We're going to hell. I um, well, <laughs> that was going to hell before the meat thing happened. <laughs> me too. Well, I I get a lot of shit. Even though I am a vegetarian, people still criticize me because they're like, oh, you're not vegan. Why don't you go vegan? And I almost feel like I get more shit than, yeah. than most people because of that. They're like, oh, well, you're like, you're still a shitty person even though you're trying really hard to do something good. You're still not good enough for me because I'm vegan and I'm better than you. Yeah, it's those like midway points, like bisexual people. Like how, mm -hmm. just commit to one side or the other. You can't straddle the line. There are radical sections of any group and it t tends to be the loudest my So can I jam? So you was also against the Allied forces to break down the cage of Birkenhaus in Auschwitz? Be you also against Malcolm X? Be you also um, uh, 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 any revolutionary activist? That's what radicals actually do. Radical means actually that you go to the root of a problem. What radicals do is cut to the bullshit and go to the essence of a problem. Radical is nothing more amount and nothing less than that. Radicals mean actually the, the ones that give you and uh, the and the black people. Now, uh, so the woman I say now, and the black people, the rights. Without radicals, Missy, it was still legal to um, to make black people to slaves and make women to sex slaves and kinds of that things. So radical is not something bad in its essence. Let us say that on other way. I've been an extremist when it comes to rape. I've been against it all the times. I've been an extremist when it comes to discrimination of the elderly. I've been an extremist against it all the time. I've been an extremist when it comes to to abuse of children, I've been against it all the times. I've been an extremist when it comes to our abuse of the canine, the mental retarded, and in all the moral cases, I've been an extremist in all of these parts. The plain fact, moral truth, is often said to be extreme. And the one that holds it, being called extremist. But when the position is absolute, you must be opposed. Some question for 100%. That's the reason I've been vegan. And that's the reason that I judge people that be not vegan for 100%. Also, you being a vegetarian, that means that you still support the rape, torture and baby stealing of other animals that make you a hypocrite. Sorry, I cannot make it another way. And if a woman, you uh, need, you absolutely can understand it. If you've been a man, you can also understand it if you be not a shit kind or a douchebag. Imagine that you child that you've been raped, that somebody steals your children from you away, puts that children on a concentration 
camp truck to a concentration camp that we show you from me called slaughterhouses. That children is put in small parts. And then we sold to billions of other weirdos that want to eat your flesh. Actually, 99% of all the hamburger meat in America comes from the dairy industry. So if you support meat dairy, you, know, if you eat dairy and eggs, and you've been a vegetarian and you eat honey even, you'll be not on the right side of justice. And if you support also the meat eaters, you'll be actually nothing more than one a rape offender or one cannibal offender or somebody that protects them other immoral habit. You can respect somebody for something, but you don't can respect somebody for committing atrocious acts to one living beings. That's one of the reasons that we vegans become so upset. If, and if you've been also against the ALF and the ARM, ARM break down the cage of the fur farms, then being the same as the Allied forces when they break down the concentration camp doors of Auschwitz and Burma. If they're being vandals, then so are the Allied forces when they're destroyed forever the gas chambers of Birkenau in Auschwitz. If they're being thieves, then so are being the slave liberationists that free the slaves from the West. Think occasional on the suffering will you spare yourself the sight. Sorsha. This is Sorsha, and then I also have Vegan Gaines, who's great. <laughs> he only threatens to kill people sometimes. Oh, well, I mean, you know. <laughs> if I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. Like, he really does deserve to die. You're killing animals. He's sticking up for the animals. He'll right. murder the murderers. Exactly. Because the like eye those, for eye does great. It's like those pro-life people that blow- So, she make another stupid in in question. Um, murdering somebody else in order to protect some other living being is one justifiable act of reproducing self-defense. It is not psychotic to want to murder somebody that murder innocent beings. Is it psychotic to uh, want to murder one rapist or one somebody that uh, rape your children? Or somebody that rape your sister or rape your brother or rape your mother or something like that? At least if I speak for myself. I see no difference between the suffering of one cow and chicken or a pig or with other human than ever. So if somebody takes somebody's life, can save innocent lives if they don't want to change. Again. If you have love for Nazis, you need to see it as psychologist. If you want to protect a child molester, you need some mental health. There being such people, they be not... ...good enough to be protected.
step in the reality, people. Accept it. People that have no compassion deserve no compassion in return. Kindness begins on the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. You don't get pray for peace and then do hypocritical final things. That's not how rights works. Good people oppose discrimination and hatred by root, by speciesism. They don't participate in the violent rituals and traditions that have been based on cruelty. They don't pay to rape, torture and abuse other living beings only for their habitat. No, no. But there's people that call themselves good people, being constant, participate in violent rituals that have been totally unnecessary. That been based on cruelty. You being just as evil if you eat meat, dairy, and egg. If somebody that pay some serial killer to murder some other, only you being the coward or the hypocrite that don't do them itself, but you being directly responsible. That's what. To be. That's how our corporate system works. Supply and demand. If you don't pay for meat, dairy, and eggs, aka torture, rape, and murder, then the animals don't be murdered. Can you understand that? It's not, it's not so hard to accept. Or have you a met or been you mental ill? I just say. No other facts have been educated, but they choose to continue eating animal products. Whether they actually deserve to continue living. <laughs> do, do you think people who, who still make the choice to eat meat, do they deserve to continue living? I, I hope so, because I... Um, let's turn it another way. Why? Um, people that rape and cheat and molest and abuse and exploitate children by their soul still live. Can you understand the contradiction? No matter if the victims being cows, chickens or turkeys, the victims they don't want to be the vic to be a victim. And cows, chickens, turkeys, all animals actually, in, in um, 2012, a group of scientists have uh, proved actually that human and animal conscious being the same. So, you being a totally moron, if you still think that animals being less intelligent than children, or even adults for that part. Because... If you don't can see or make the connection, I think you've been just one walking automaton. Because that's how you act. Hey Krishi, why well, you know what is super annoying? Some rapist that try to protect his evil behavior. Well, you know what's also been so annoying? Meat eaters that protect their evil behavior. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs, and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom. That the majority support that, don't mean that the majority is right. That means, sorry that I have to say it, that the majority is fucked in the head and insane. Just like the majority of the slave masters was totally insane and the majority of the hate of sexist men that think that they can't control the life of, man, of a woman. Just like the insane parents that, are, that think that they have the right to do anything with their children. Even rape them and uh, 
Use them like prank objects. Again, think occasional on the suffering where you spare yourself the sight. If you don't be willing to give rights to other living beings, and animals can quote be qualified as other living beings, no matter how you look to it, they can be aware, they can see, they being, um, they can see um, environments, they can find water to drink, they can hide when they're not want to be seen, etc. If you don't be willing to give compassion or respect to them, you don't deserve rights at all. Rights is not for dirty victimizers. Rights is for innocent victims and for innocent victims only. They would be vegan. I think this is a problem that a majority of especially the internet happen, has right now, or the, or the nation when you look at it like after this election. It is, you have to think the way that I think, and if you don't, burn in hell, you're an awful person. <laughs> this is just one eye to eye, blind to blind, majority brainwash techniques that also the Nazis used to justify it the torturing of the Jews. The majority of the Nazis there was for the murdering of the Jews. So the majority there are being... You have to think the way that I think and if you don't burn in hell you're an awful person. So murder is probably not the solution to this. Whereas education, if she is the, because anytime I, I mention anything vegan, it's like, well, you need to watch freely. You need to watch freely. She has this platform that she could use to take people like me and possibly sway me that direction, yeah. but instead tells me that she wants me to fucking die. Whenever somebody attacks you like this, not only do they sit there and seriously contemplate whether or not you deserve to live, they equate you with rapists and murderers and like, Billy is not a mean person. You be the mean person, you uh, ugly little fucked head. A carnist person is in no moral position to accuse a vegan person of any mean action. Just like one slave, just like Malcolm X have say in the time of the slavery. One slave, one white slave master is in no moral position to accuse one black slave liberationist or a black person or a white slave liberationist of any evil. The victimizer is in no moral position to accuse the liberationist of any immoral action. If people can understand that, who wants? Then I've been very happy. In this video you'll see how they like pretty much equate slavery to eating meat. To me, she's one of those people that started a platform with a certain direction and wants to maintain her income so she continues to preach to the people who will listen to her. And unfortunately, she's- Let me not forget that Kevin Gemma is also uh, guilty of plagiat. And that she is one, actually a one basic idiot. She have not even an opinion of herself. She copied constant the opinions of others. She is also friends with the amazing Satanist that he called himself the atheist. Even atheist is what he actually made. He claims that he is an atheist, but the main thing what he does on his channel is spreads the rumors about Christianity. And if you being an atheist, you don't give about that. At least you, if you not being a jerk. Because Christian, the belief is not the main problem of the Christians and the Phillies. 
The main problem with them is that they're focused too much, in my opinions, about a violent rituals and traditions instead of morale, truth and compassion. We can uh, justify it indeed a lot of stuff with um, the Bible. But that ought not to be the part actually. Live by the golden rule. Do to others just like you want their to to you. Since nobody wants to be treated like one cow or a chicken or a pig on this planet, it is more than logical to become vegan. No matter if you be a Christian or an atheist. If you're not being vegan, you're being just a walking controversial. 